Meet Derek Van Dam, E's new weatherman. Three, two, one. To receive a passing shower through the Gauteng region. Gauteng region? <coughs> he comes all the way from Michigan in the United States. The land of Great Lakes, moose, and bear. I've had I've had moose before. Yes, it tastes like uh, like um, regular cow, I guess. <laughs> he qualified in meteorology at the University of Michigan. It was difficult. It was very grueling studies. Um, it's very math and physics um, heavy. Now, meteorologist Derek Van Dam with your NBC 25 weather. The record-breaking heat is a thing of the past. He cut his teeth on NBC's morning show, where he spent the past three and a half years. Yes! I want a break. But how did he end up in South Africa? Actually, I was doing some humanitarian work, uh, missionary work um, through my church, and made my way to Swaziland. Spent three weeks there, and um, I was documenting everything with a TV station that I worked for back in the United States. And I needed some time. It was a, it was a very um, intense couple of weeks in Swaziland, so I needed some time to myself to kind of recuperate. And I'd heard Cape Town um, or South Africa was a beautiful place to travel to. So I came and I traveled the area and I met the people at ETV and here I am now. Um, really, this has been a passion of mine since I was a little boy. Uh, I've wanted to be a weatherman for the longest time. I was just so fascinated with what they did. And, and I was fascinated with the weather and, and the people who presented it. We've got about an inch to an inch and a half of the fresh fallen snow here, but it's actually the heavy wet snowflakes that we're dealing with right now. And this we got a lot of severe weather in the United States, specifically where I live. So there's tornadoes and there's bad thunderstorms and it affects everyone, you know? And so especially when you have a tornado barreling down at your house, it's quite scary. So someone needs to tell the public what's going on. And I wanted to be that guy. According to my mother, and whether or not I believe it, it was snow. You know, a lot of babies say no a lot. I guess apparently I put the S and the N in the front. <laughs> so I said snow. Whether or not I believe it, I think it, maybe it's just my mom kind of, you know, sweetening things up a little bit. But uh, I, I really, that's, that's what she claims. That's what she claims. She said you were destined to be a weatherman, Derek. Your first word was snow. DVD, Derek Van Dam. Every time I hear that, it's like uh, if somebody's going to go rent a DVD, or, or um, go watch a DVD, I'm, I'm, my ears perk up. <laughs> God, what? Do you need me? <laughs> I also had a, another nickname as well. Um, the, in a, I worked at a coffee shop uh, during college, and they named a coffee after me called the Van Damage. <laughs> it had like four shots of espresso in it, so. <laughs> in my spare time, um, you find me climbing a mountain, um, biking, hiking, anything outdoors, uh, I'm so keen on. And uh, I like to surf and uh, run. I'm gonna, I want to do maybe a triathlon down here sometime. Let's see, what are my bad habits? <laughs> I laugh too much. Or, or can you laugh too much? Is that bad? I don't know. I, I, always, I've, I always find myself laughing a lot. So I'm trying to tone that down a little bit. I'm kind of a neat freak. Is that weird? I cannot leave my house for a long time without it being spotless because I don't want to come home to a, a dirty place. So I always clean before I go on holiday or if I go somewhere. How old are you and um, can we go on a date sometime? <laughs> No, not really. I, just, I want people to take me, I, I, I want people to just not necessarily just see um, this guy on TV. I want them to see this like qualified meteorologist who knows the stuff. I would, I would be lying if I said I wasn't looking for a girlfriend because it would be nice to have one, but um, I, I don't want to force anything. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer in if you force something, it do, you're looking for it so hard, it never happens. I've been trying to tackle one sentence. It's, I think I do it right, but I've got to apologize ahead of time because I probably don't. Um, Salakum Nande. So I'm try that again. Hold on. Salakum Nande. 
and be well.